Today I'm gonna make a pumpkin chocolate swirl bread. I love those two flavors together. With recipes like this, where there's lots of ingredients and they have to be exact, I always come with my recipe because you really need to be you know, spot on in terms of measurements. All right, so I'm gonna start with my wet ingredients first. One and a half cups of sugar. And actually you're saying sugar is a dry ingredient. Actually it's a wet ingredient, especially because when it melts, it turns to liquid. A half a cup of vegetable oil. I'm gonna start this in our mixer and just sort of beat some air into it. So it's nice and smooth. All right, then I'm gonna add two eggs here. So one egg at a time. And then we're gonna add one cup of uh, canned pumpkin. The canned pumpkin is the way to go. It's always consistent. We have some vanilla, and we're just gonna whip this just until it's incorporated. One and three quarter cups of flour. All right, one teaspoon of baking soda. Make sure it's level. One teaspoon of pumpkin spice. So that's a combination of all those spices. I like to put a little extra in. I like that flavor. And then half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then a little salt. Just whisk this up. And then we're gonna incorporate the dry ingredients just until they're well mixed into the wet ingredients. And then we're gonna take uh, some semi-sweet chocolate that's just melted. So I'm gonna drizzle this in. Make sure you get all that out of there. And basically I'm just gonna like swirl it or marble it into the pumpkin batter. We go. So then I have my cake pan just brushed on the inside with some butter. And we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees. And this is gonna bake for about an hour. Look how beautiful that looks. 350 degrees for about an hour. So then I'm gonna make a very quick flavored butter. We're gonna use some orange marmalade and some orange zest as well to flavor our butter. All right, so you just want to make sure that this is well combined. I'm actually going to leave this out so that it's nice and soft at room temperature. All right, the moment I've been waiting for. We are going to break into this pumpkin chocolate quick bread. It smells amazing. I love all those pumpkin spices. Chocolate goes so nicely with it. First of all, look how beautiful it is. You see the swirls with the chocolate and the pumpkin. And I'm just going to bread some of that marmalade butter right on top. Mm. This stuff is good. And then if it gets like a little bit stale, you can always put it in the toaster and bring it back to life. All right, give it a taste. Mm. Orange, chocolate, and pumpkin, perfect combination.